Uh, Stacey Ann's done a, a series of interviews for Black History Month, the first of uh, them that we're going to show you right now, uh, talking to New Yorkers who, who inspired yeah. others and, and really getting their stories. You're going to take us back to your childhood with this first one. <laughs> That's right, but it's not just my childhood, Pat. Ralph McDaniels is also a part of the childhood of so many people watching right now. Uncle Ralph, is what I like to call him, <laughs> has been hosting a video music box for 35 years, and now he's working with the Queens Library to preserve the history of hip-hop. We know you most as uh, Uncle Ralph, video music box. Yes. Talk about how that concept came about. I got the opportunity to work at this PBS station on WNYC. The word music video wasn't really known yet. And, um, and I said, uh, you know, maybe we should do a show with this. And I created this half an hour kind of demo. I'm from Jamaica. So yes. we, we came at a time where people were slowly starting to migrate. But you had kids that were already there and were, like, born and mm -hmm. raised in New York. My introduction to the American culture, yes. to hip hop, was through Video Music Box. So I kind of owe my... I feel like I owe my life to you. Yes, yes. No, <laughs> I've sense. heard that a lot. I've yeah. heard that a lot. I remember you used to play, uh, like, EPMD. EPMD. You used to play Eric yes. B. and Rakim. Yes. So you launched a lot of music careers. So when did you feel like, okay, I have something here? Um, when I walked outside and got on the train. <laughs> because all of a sudden, people were looking at me, and I was like, why are they looking at me? I, just, I didn't, you know, realize that this was what was going to happen. Do you remember any experience that stuck out, you know, in terms of you launching a career? Can you uh, remember one artist that sticks out to you? Yeah, um, Will Smith. <laughs> you know, he was, you know, the Fresh Prince back then. Yeah. You know, I remember him coming to my office. They came in and they were like, you know, we have this record, Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. We want to get this record out. You know, it's video played. Do you ever feel that you don't get your due? Um, yeah, you know, I do. But, you know, I think that everything happens in the time it's supposed to happen. So now you've taken this and you've kind of made it your mission to influence others and to teach them about the history of hip-hop. So tell us a little bit about that. The whole idea of Video yeah. Music Box was to document what was going on in our community, what was going on in the music scene, and everything that was happening in New York. You know, it wasn't just about the music, it was about the dancers, it was about the graffiti artists, it was about the style. Universities like Harvard is teaching some of Nas's poetry. You have Ninth Wonder over at Duke University. Yes. And you've teamed up with Queens Library yeah. to help teach and bring about the, this awareness and this, this long-standing now history of hip-hop music. This is the place that you go to get information. Right. So if you want to know something about hip-hop, you now have a place in Queens, in your community. We have 60 libraries in Queens alone. Now, how do you <coughs> want to be remembered? My family came from um, the West Indies, from Trinidad, my mom's side. My father's side was um, African and, and American Indian. The idea of the civil rights movement came in the 60s, and I, I grew up being a part of that. And this was something that we have to now move forward and, and, and do even better than what my parents did. And I always tell my daughter, you have to do better than me. Success is cool, you know, but are you happy? And knowing where you came from is, is, is a, a very important part of, of making yourself happy. <laughs> that, that, that animation of the other is a piece of New York <laughs> City history right there. Yeah, and what you, <laughs> what you see with uh, Ralph McDaniels is actually what you get. He is such a cool guy. He actually started archiving long before he teamed up with Queens Library. So he kind of dovetailed all that he learned, all that mm -hmm. he knows, and started working with the library. And now you can actually go and look up just about anything and get information about hip hop. And, and there's kind of another dimension, another job for him. Oh my gosh, how many jobs does this guy have, right? <laughs> He has, like, multiple jobs. He, wear, he wears multiple hats. He started off as a DJ, and then he kind of transitioned into uh, being a VJ, mm -hmm. and uh, he started making movies um, and video making as well. He's directed for Nas, and right now he's working on a uh, Netflix movie with uh, Roxanne Shante, which who's another legendary Queens hip-hop artist. And where did you tell me the count of the number of music videos he's made like is? like 400. That's what he told me. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's, a lot, it's a lot of music videos. Yeah. Uh, Stacey Ann will continue her series of interviews throughout Black History Month 